Hello everyone, it's Jeanette Silhouette coming to you here. Uh, having my coffee and just thought I would share some pictures with you. And yes, warning, there are three graphic injury pictures. I'm just warning you and letting you know. This is me when I was seven years old on Easter Sunday. And my, there with my sister who looks like Marlo Thomas from That Girl. <laughs> this one is me and my big sister and my mother. I'm holding our kitty cat, Tiger. This was when we still lived in West Virginia. Long time ago, I think I was seven. And of course I grew up, this is actually a band picture, a picture for promotions, which I'm no longer in a band. And this is my chores, you guys. Yep, there I am. I figure that each piece of wood I handle four times. I handle it the first time when I'm putting it in the wheelbarrow. I handle it the second time when I'm stacking it either in the garage or out back. I handle it the third time when I bring it into the house to get ready to put in the wood burner. And then I'm handling it again when I'm actually putting it in the wood burner. So that's four times. <laughs> four times I handle each piece of wood. But that's just what's got to be done, and I tell you what, um, I'm not really complaining because at my age, um, it's important to do weight-bearing exercise. So I'm just saying, I think I'll have a sip of my coffee. So I'll be making several more treads uh, with that today. And then it was so really cool to find this piece of wood. <laughs> it gave me hope. Maybe love will enter my life. Thought it was really cool. Had to take a picture of it. This next picture is a plant that almost died. These this plant was almost dead, and the, the two tops of it just just flicked off. I don't know how they came off, but they did. I ended up putting them in water, and they grew roots. And I gave one of them to a friend, and now that's what the one looks like now. It's grown up. And this is my friend that I gave it to, gave the other piece to. Um, she, I did her hair, and so we wanted to take some pictures. Now, some of you guys probably are already aware that I lost my son when he was 17. And every year I send him off a balloon, and I write all kinds of notes all over it. His sister always lets me know what she wants me to write on it for her. And every year I send that off to him. Yes, I actually did paint my wall that color. I have since changed the color. It looks great in the picture. It looks retro. It looks cool. But in real life, it looked terrible. This was after a storm. I just thought the clouds looked so beautiful. I took this picture. And that was in the fall and th there's no doubt when fall turns into winter when this happens <laughs> this next picture here is one of my absolute favorite pictures it was taken in I believe it was March of 2012 when we had this crazy crazy weather all this snow melted and it turned into like 80 degrees in March, which is unheard of. Um, it was so quiet and so beautiful and everything was covered with ice and snow. It was mesmerizing. You can see my basketball net to the far right. Sometimes there's only one way you know when it's spring. And hello, Mr. Robin. And by the way, there's more than one Robin in this picture. Can you find it? Here in the north where it is snowing like crazy again on April the 3rd, 2016, where I will bring you around and show you some. Oh, sorry, it's so shaky. More ice. 
bicycle? Yes, this was in April. And a robin. I can't believe I just saw a robin. Of 2016. I have no idea what it's going to do this year. It's spring. Hey, everybody. No way of knowing with this weather. I'll see if you can see, hear my echo. Michigan hey, weather I'm talking about. It's spring. You guys stay dry. I love you. Some deer in my yard in the spring. And spring turns into summer. Well, this is probably still spring. This is just fog. Just was so beautiful laying there like a blanket. One year I had these weird mushrooms come up. We had a, a lot of rain this particular spring. And I mean, mushrooms were coming up all around my pine tree. And they just were huge and weird looking. Mushrooms I've never knew existed or seen, especially in my yard. But they were very interesting. And something was coming up and eating them. Probably the deer. Okay, warning. Graphic picture coming up. Warning. Yes, I broke my toe. I was carrying some wood. I had tennis shoes on and dropped a piece of wood. And the corner of this piece of wood just nailed my toe right in the right spot. And yes, I broke it. Warning. Another graphic picture coming up, you guys. Sorry. I just toyed with whether or not I should put these in here, but yes, I scalded myself. I was cooking some chicken and it was frozen and I tried to push it down in the pot. And anyways, the water splashed up on me and scalded me. It was a hospital trip. This little guy kept dancing and dancing and dancing for me and squawking and dancing, looking for a mate. I kept telling him I, I wasn't interested, but he wasn't having it. This little guy, my daughter's fiance, named Cracknut. And I kept pounding on the window, and he wasn't budging. <laughs> he was not going anywhere. He had found himself a supply. This guy is, like, totally huge. And it's a woodpecker, and it's a red-headed woodpecker, but I'm not sure if that's what his name is. And there's nothing like riding down the street and finding a big huge can of Red Bull driving next to you. That was interesting. Don't know what that was about. This is me zip lining, y'all. Yes. My 70 something year old mother came with us. Me and my sister and my mom. This is me on my birthday. This was actually 12, 12, 12. My birthday is December 12th and this was the year 2012. So this was 12, 12, 12. This is another band picture promotional kind of picture. Just thought I'd share it with you. And of course, if I'm going to share pictures with you, I've got to share a picture of you, of you, with you of my grandpa. This is my dear, sweet grandpa that I loved so dearly. The very first man I ever loved. And he is passed now. Um, but I was his little genie and... He was my grandpa and always will be. I, I miss him terribly. I love him very much. And I love this picture. Well, guys, thanks for sharing. Thanks for coming along and hanging out with me for a few minutes. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. And remember, it takes all kinds of people to make a world. <laughs>